Welcome to GETV. Today I will be showing you Invertech's AptiDrive NEMA 4X AC Drive from Thardak. The NEMA 4X drives has an IP66 protection and is available in switched or unswitched versions. The switched versions have an additional speed pot, forward reverse switch, and a padlockable power switch for when the drive is not in use. It is made of ABS moldings with a corrosion resistant heat sink and can be operated in up to 40 degrees Celsius ambient temperatures. They are available in single phase and three phase models in the general purpose drives or open closed loop vector drives. After checking to see if my wiring is correct, I can turn the drive on where the display will show the current operational status. I will push and hold the navigate key for a couple of seconds to access the parameters. Some of these I will not change and just check to see if the values are correct. P1 is the maximum frequency. I will push the navigate button and see that the drive is at 60 Hz. I will push the navigate button again to save and then push up to P2. Here is the parameter for the minimum frequency. I will take a look at the value to check to see if this is at the value desired. Since I would like this at zero, I will hold down the arrow until it displays zero and then press the navigate button to save. P3 is the acceleration time. This is currently set to five seconds, the default value. I will advance to P4 and check this value too. It is also set to five seconds and I will keep it at that value. Next is P5 for the stopping method of the drive. I can choose between ramp to stop or coast to stop. The default is coast to stop on this drive. Moving forward, I will go to P7. From P7 to P10 is where I will plug in my motor data. This information is typically printed on the nameplate of your motor and will differ from motor to motor. The motor I have is rated for 230 volts with 1.7 amps and 1700 RPM at 60 Hz. P7 is where I will plug in my voltage. I will change this value to 230 volts. Next is P8 for my motor rated current. I will change this value to 1.7 amps. Next is P9 for motor rated frequency. I will check to see if this value is 60 Hz for North American industries. Since it is at 60 Hz, I will continue to P10 for my motor rated speed. I will not be changing the parameters, but want to give a quick overview on what they are. P11 is the starting voltage boost. P12 is the primary command source, which allows me to set up an external controller, Modbus or PI control. And P13 is the trip log history. The last parameter, P14, is the extended menu access code and allows me to unlock an extra set of parameters. To get the extra set of parameters, I will scroll to 101. This is the default value to unlock parameters and this access code can be changed with P37 to prevent unauthorized access. Unlocking this allows for a greater set of parameters that include output relay functions, preset frequencies, digital and analog inputs, skip frequency, restart function, brake chopper, and PI control. With just the standard parameters, my motor data is programmed into the drive and I can turn this switch to the forward position. Then I will use the speed pot to ramp the motor up to my desired speed. Turning the switch back will stop the drive where it will coast to a stop. Invertex Opti Drive NEMA 4X AC Drive from Bardak, along with thousands of other products and services, are available at galco.com.